Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And I just wanted to make a quick announcement here regarding this issue that's coming out because people were tagging me on it on Twitter and stuff today, which pretty soon you won't be able to do that anymore. And so, cause I will ha not have Twitter, but you can always email me. This is the new official email for this, uh, you know, for this channel. It's the parasite podcast at gmail.com um, that you can send me an email about any of the shows I do. If you, it doesn't want to be Venom related, anything else, Transformers, D DC, you know, uh, Resident Evil, whatever it is, whatever you want to throw at me, please do it at that website there. And that'll be the only way to keep in touch with me outside of the YouTube channel. And I do have a community board and I'll post updates on there sometimes. So maybe you'll see more updates and images coming up through the community board. So I'll try to post more on there and you can comment on that stuff and we can keep in touch that way. So that'll be, this is kind of my only social media I'm keeping around. I'm kind of, I'm distancing myself from Twitter and Instagram. I'm going to keep the accounts up, but they're privatized and I'm pretty much never going to log into them for a while or just check in them every once in a while, but I'm deleting the apps from my phone and I just kind of need a break from all this stuff, especially with the election coming up. This happened to me four years ago. I kind of disconnected. I, I left Facebook and I never went back and, uh, and I left Twitter at the time too, but I did go back to Twitter two years ago to, you know, promote Venom Vlog. And it's helped out. It's kept me in touch with some people, um, you know, who've worked on the movie, worked on Maximum Venom. It's been a great way for me to communicate with some of them. But now I'm just like, eh, I'm just going to do email and I'm going to do the community board on here. And I just, you know, I'll still work hard to bring stuff to you guys' attention, bring interviews and reach out to people. But I just won't be using social media to do it anymore. And that might affect, I might get less interviews. But with the Parasite podcast, I feel like we already have an abundance of interviews because a lot of you guys you know, I can interview you guys now. We can talk on the Parasite podcast. So now I kind of feel like I have my source in a way. And we've kind of be, are starting to become self-sustaining here on YouTube. And with us nearing 2,500 subscribers, you know, I, I want to kind of just focus my energies on this channel and the shows that I do on here and free up my time and get rid of all the distractions. So I am going to walk away from social media and just hopefully never go back to either one of them. Um, but uh, but I'll try to keep the, the pages up. So those of you who do follow me on there, you can still check out some of the old pictures of Echo from time to time. I'll keep it around for the memories. My mom likes to peruse my Instagram sometimes. So you know, there's that too. So, uh, so yeah. So with this though, this is from uh, uh, Clay, who's the writer of Scream. You know, which just got canceled recently. So make sure you go to thechange.org. I'll put the link down below. Scream for Scream. Hashtag revive Scream. Uh, you know, let's get that book back out there, or at least get Clay to do another mini series. Maybe uh, do a book called Scream versus Demogoblin. It could be a four issue mini series. They can wrap up their story or something like that. I would love to see something happen. I, you know, I hate that that story ended on such a cliffhanger with issue six setting up a new story. I kind of want to see where it goes and let those guys, uh, you know, finish their book, especially with some of it already drawn. So we talked about it a couple episodes ago. You can go check it out, see some of the artwork on there. So please do. And then hit, you know, hit up the change.org. But then they also announced this, which is called Empire's End. And it's a lead into and a tie in um, to, you know, what will be, uh, what will be Kane Black. What's so crazy about this was I was on Wes's podcast and I've talked about it here on this show a couple times where I didn't, I didn't ever give Marvel a lot of credit of tying everything together. I think Larry's Comics and, uh, and Wes on Thinking Critical, on one of their episodes, they were talking about how, you know, Apocalypse is tied to something. Maybe him and his horsemen fought Null at some point, but he's not sure. He has a theory about that. And then, like, in Empire and some of the other stuff, they were mentioning a cosmic void, you know, with stuff. He and Larry's comics thought maybe that void was somehow connected to Null. And then I made the comment, like, well, what if, you know, if, if Empire ends and it's Null, because Null's flying through space coming to Earth. I'm like, wouldn't he come across the Kree and, and uh, you know, Empire at some point, the Kree and Scroll Empire? Wouldn't he come across that and then want to wipe it out or covered in symbiotes and then bring them to Earth and expand his army or kill them all just in general, just wipe out Kree and Scroll forever from Marvel Comics? That'd be interesting, or at least a, a big chunk of them or whatever. Um, I don't know. It's like, I was just thinking, like, his trajectory has to bring him... I don't know where in space the Kree Skull Empire is, but I figured from wherever Clintar is, it has to maybe pass, you know, through a Kree Skull area. So it looks like that's happening. And it looks like Clay is going to be writing it, it seems. And that's great because I like his book. I think Scream is actually a stronger book than the Donny Cates Venom stuff right now. And so, uh, so seeing this is neat because I feel like maybe he'll add something to Null as a character that could be cool. That's something that he talked out with Donnie Cates and stuff that maybe he can flesh out in this one shot. So it looks like Empire's End is going to actually tie into Null. It looks like Marvel may actually be tying X-Men, Avengers, like all of this stuff into a Venom villain. <laughs> like, 
I, I guess I never thought that day would come. And uh, and here we are. So there, I guess that's the excitement of Donnie stuff that I know a lot of you guys gravitate to and have been trying to drill into my stubborn head when I'm like, yeah, I don't like some of this stuff structurally or where this is going or what this is or this issue in general, like, or how this ended. Like, I, I know I have my critiques, but I see now the excitement that you guys have for it is, is all of that. Like this it was right in front of my face this whole time and I ignored it. You know, I read some Avengers and Fantastic Four stuff. Um, I've read some of the X-Men stuff, at least not all of it, but some of it. And even though I'm not liking it, I still am aware of some of what's going on in those books to an extent. And enough to where I probably could have pieced this together and I just didn't. Uh, the only comment I made was, what if Null crashes through the, the Empire storyline? And it looks like that's what happens. Empire is going to get a conclusion to its story. And then a month later, we're going to get this one shot called Empire's End with, uh, you know, that leads right into King in Black. And it looks like it's going to be people in the wake of Null as he's coming to Earth. And that's the Korean Scroll Empire. So... Let me know what you think of that. I mean, I think this is kind of a cool announcement. And uh, I'm actually excited that I have some positivity because you remember my last review of uh, the Donny Cates, like Venom 25. I was so poo-poo about it. I was so down. And uh, and I got to say, 26 kind of reinvigorated me just a little bit because it, it, it was focused on the stuff that I like that Donny does. But I actually, uh, Ryan Stegman's a phenomenal artist, but I'm, I see now that I really gravitate to the Aban issues because I love Aban's art so much that uh, he's very expressive with his art, with the faces, and it helps me pull into the story a little bit more because he's able to add humor and seriousness uh, with his style, whereas Ryan Stegman, I feel like, is constantly just comes across serious because it's so dark and he and i feel like has trouble with some of the levity uh from an art standpoint not from not that he's a bad artist but just some of the jokes and, and some of the levity don't land as much um but it also those are the issues donnie seems to be 10 times more serious in whereas a bond i feel like donnie pulls back and has more fun with some of his writing and that's what I like. So so I, I, I like that I'm being pulled back in slightly, especially with the Abon issues, and I hope that leads to stuff. But I am still going to read King in Black because this has the, been kind of the, the culmination of a lot of stuff Donnie's working on. So it just, you know, we're here already. We're so close. Why not just a couple more months, tough it out, see how King in Black is, and see where they go from there. And hopefully it is a nice conclusion to a lot of things. I, that's what I hope anyway. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this, that the fact that Noel's going to be interacting with the Kree Skull Empire, I'm kind of excited by that, especially by the writer. I'm intrigued. Art looks good. The cover looks great. So let me know your thoughts down below, and we'll continue our conversation down there. And that's it. I think I've recorded like 13 episodes today, and I am done. This is all my episodes for the week, and I'm going to put them all up, except for my live streams on Thursday, which we're going to do for New Mutants, and then also Maximum Venom. I'll do a Maximum Venom live episode, and you guys can watch along with me. I'll have the link in the description box on that episode, so you can watch with me. We'll start it a few minutes early, and um, we'll get ready for that uh, you know, stream together and, and watch it together. So you can watch it at home while you have me on if you want, and uh, and I'll have you know my headset on watching it, so that way um, you know we're, we don't get any copyright strikes with the audio or anything like that. And I probably won't have the video up. We're just going to watch it live together, so it'll just be just us hanging out pretty much and talking about things. Uh, so we'll do that live stream of that and New Mutants for Asteroid X show on Thursday and then everything else I'll try to cover you know after work on those days but this is me just getting everything out there all the episodes I wanted to make this week episode 550 of Venom was going to go up this week but because I had to shoot a lot of uh, Seek and Destroy stuff and the and I decided to start the X-Men show early I, you know all that stuff is up now so uh, you know I, I'm done no more shooting this whole week except for the two live episodes and then I'm going to do a live stream video games tomorrow this because it's Monday when I'm recording this all these episodes and, uh, but I got to, you know, I'll try to do my best. But uh, episode 550 for Venom, we'll get into that next week. And I'll do, and now that all these shows are caught up on, next week I'll try to focus on Ghost Rider and catching up on those. Um, and then once we do that, we'll, we'll get back in a Venom vlog, maybe talk about Morbius, the comic book. Um, and then we'll get into uh, gearing up for episode 550, which will not be anything special, major. It'll just be us getting back into the Flash Tops and stuff. I really couldn't think of anything major to do with 500, uh, 550, I mean. But maybe we'll plan something big for episode 600, uh, you know, in 55 or so episodes from now. So, yeah, we'll get to that when we get there. Uh, but we're also nearing uh, 2,500 subscribers. So if you guys please, you know, share my videos. If you like any of the stuff I made and post it over the next few or the past few days uh, with Comic-Con stuff and all the other shows we do. If you like any of that stuff and you have friends that do, you know, share the link. Please uh, get more people to watch the show. And let's try to get past 2,500 and get up to 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year if we can do that. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you in the future. Peace.